In this international school, Hyderabad presents you with the online graduation ceremony. Are you ready, class of 2020? Countdown begins now.
Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the graduation ceremony of IBDP class of 2020. On behalf of principal and staff, we extend a very warm welcome to our to be graduates and distinguished parents. Graduation day has always been a day of rejoice where we see life in full landscape, all faces together yet without much details. Today the time has forced us to see each other in minuscule appearance. This 14 inch screen has become the reality and here we are. We never thought this would be possible to have graduation ceremony amidst present situation. But as Helen Keller rightly says, optimism is the faith that leads to achievement Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. So, with this confidence and belief, we are here to celebrate the much-awaited day in every student's life. Undeniably, today's celebration witnesses the recognition of the efforts and relentless hard work of many years in a true sense. This will be recorded as the special day in the history of our school. The flame of lamp symbolizes knowledge. The lighting of lamp metaphorically signifies the dispelling of darkness, of ignorance and prejudice. Since it is not possible to light the lamp in person, we ignite your memory with previous year's lamp lighting. Let's pray to Almighty to keep the curiosity of knowledge a flame in our minds and hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me welcoming the IBDP class of 2020 marching. They are not only oozing with confidence and IASH pride, but are also unaffected by any circumstances. This ninth batch of IBDP is the group of dreamers and future leaders from diverse cultures and backgrounds. Let's welcome these ambitious, vivacious and cheerful eagles marching on your screen. Moving further, now we present our students with the Indus Eagle and Valedictorian Awards. The Indus Eagle is a leadership award which is given to a student who has gone beyond self to make a difference to a section of society and one who has demonstrated the qualities of a whole person. This year, this prestigious award has been won by two students, Anika Gupta and Rida Samarin. The valedictorian is traditionally the student who attains the highest grade point average in class. A different feat that requires unflagging zeal, determination and integrity. This year, this prestigious award has been won by two students, Anika Gupta and Mohammad Amin, 
please give them a big round of applause. At Indus, education is a harmonious blend of the development of mind, body and spirit. Education is not just preparation for the world that is, but for a world that will be and can be. Thus, the emphasis on entrepreneurship, whole education and community service which encourage diploma students to unlock their potential in every possible way. The Young Achiever Awards recognize and reward these endeavors. The Young Entrepreneur Award given for demonstrating entrepreneurial skills through vision and leadership is awarded to Sayyid Nabil Ahmed, Shritya Koloru and Eshan Reddy. The Young Achiever Award for Outstanding Performance in Sports is awarded to three students this year. Namir Noshad Mulani, Jayant Budole and Sahit Kancherla. The Young Achiever Award for Invaluable Contribution to Community Service is awarded to Jasraj Singh, Amai Reddy Nam, Madhuri Lidhu and Akhil Kanamuri. The Young Achiever Award for Outstanding Performance in Dramatics is awarded to Sahit Kancherla and Sahil Bilani. The Young Achiever Award for Outstanding Performance in Music is awarded to Purvi Kartike Yaluri, Akshita Sheila and Minkyu Chu. The Young Achiever Award for Outstanding Performance in MUN is awarded to Minsuku, Rida Samreen and Ashlesha Galla. The Young Achiever Award for Outstanding Performance in Visual Arts is awarded to Soumya Gupta. The Spirit of Indus Award for Demonstrating Indus' Values in Thoughts, Words and Deeds is awarded to Avinash Boddu, Madhuri Lidu and Janvi Shah. It's time for us to hear from our Eagle Awardees. Let's first listen to this speech by our Indus Eagle Awardee Anika Gupta. She's also one of the valedictorians. Namaste to my amazing teachers, ever helpful Inda staff, parents and my fellow graduates. Uh, firstly, thank you for these awards. Uh, I feel deeply humbled and honored to be receiving these today. So while I was thinking of what I would say and my time here at Indus, I jotted down a small poem and I'll start with that. Green and gold, and so the story unfolds. She was a little bud, away from the light, afraid of its bright. But then there was a hum in the air, a hum of love, energy, and care. She felt the tender warmth of them, a yellow beam of sunlight. As the bees buzzed about her, they prodded her to move forward, to keep her head held high. She felt nurtured and her stem crept upwards, giving her comfort and confidence. She let her leaf blades unfall. One called her moron, another called her beta. But when the words were said, whatever they may be, Hidden underneath were layers of love, whether it may be gushing love or that tough love. After all, this has been her second home. Time has its way, and it's now the season of change. But as I move forward, no longer that little bud, in every effort, every deed, you'll always be a part of me. For the ears that you have given me have been green and gold, the Indus green and gold, bountiful, enriching, precious, and bold. This poem encapsulates how much Indus means to me because Indus has made my journey beyond special. It's been an, it's been an adventure uh, of lifelong lessons, full of beautiful memories, and I guess just like that, we've come to the end of an era. <laughs> it feels hard to let go, but funnily enough, I feel ready for 
what the future has in store for me. Today, I would like to thank everyone, my lovely teachers, the admin team, all the didis and bhaiyas, the ISL team, Sodexo, and of course, the Wednesday Biryani, everyone. The effort put into this online graduation itself shows how Indus is truly a close-knit and thoughtful family. Of course, I will not feel complete without also thanking my family and Mama Papa, my first gurus. And finally, congratulations to the class of 2020, we made it! Uh, despite the fact that uh, IB might have traumatized all of us along the way, but it doesn't matter because all of you have been such great friends, supportive throughout, and all of you have thought, uh, all of you have taught me something new along the way. So I wish everyone good luck and loads of happiness. Please stay safe, and I hope to meet everyone soon. Thank you again. Namaste. After this thought-provoking speech and sensitizing poem by Anika, let's listen to our second Indus Eagle awardee, Rida Samreen's speech. A warm good evening to our principal, Ms. Noera, Vice Principal, Mr. Rizwan, teachers, and my fellow graduates. I checked the weather forecast for Saturday, 27 June, and there's a 50% chance it might be raining right now as you listen to me speak. But I'm gonna take the precaution to say, what a pleasant, lovely day to graduate on. Let me say this, this wasn't our plan A. The world welcomed with unwilling arms, the uninvited guests now in our midst, trying to reorder our being. Who would have thought a notorious day in March, Friday the 13th, would be the last day of high school. The countdown interrupted, sped without notice, our last day of school spent in worry of a reality that would soon cease to exist. There we were, class of 2020, like a deer in the headlights, caught off guard. A glorious ending, one last assembly, one last class, one last meal, one last dance, one last embrace of our home away from home, now reduced to what ifs. Never before was the world so harshly, so relentlessly reminded of the impermanence of it all, the transience of stability, the pretense of peace in our time, and the once silent, now awoken plague of ignorance. Never before never so salient. But I'm going to take the liberty to say, apna time aega. Because never before was the world at reckoning when the class of 2020 was graduating. We are a class of compassion, taking responsibility to sensitively and delicately honor the martyred soldiers in the Pulwama attacks. We are a class of enthusiasm, dancing unrehearsed and spontaneously during insignia because we're not to be forgotten. We are a class of creativity, creating what is arguably the best lighthearted meme page. We are a class of support, like the plebeians around Mark Antony, encircling the resistance for PE periods. We are a class of memories, manifesting our desire to stay connected in a yearbook releasing in theatres soon. We, above all, are a class of unity, of the spirit of no man left behind, enchanting orange nabbe, yellow giri, and red what? Red birds during our leadership camps. And that's not it, because the class of 2020 isn't just us, the graduating students. The class of 2020 is also its teachers, our wonderful teachers who invested their heart and soul into our success. You opened to us the doors to your classrooms in quenching our curiosity and imparting knowledge. You opened to us the door to your homes in helping us above and beyond the eight hours of school. And you even opened to us the doors to your heart 
in worrying and caring for us as if we were your own. Teachers, you deserve a round of applause. The class of 2020 is its family. My family, Mama, Abu, my brother Imad, who patiently dealt with every stressful time, helping me stay calm and relaxed. Well, as relaxed as one could get in IB. Now, today, being at pivotal points in our life, in all honesty, the future intimidates me. A lot of nights I lose sleep over thoughts about how I want to mold my future. The mornings I spend researching to feel a little more certain. But more than being a rite of passage, I think graduation is defined by our courage to take the next step. We've been placed on a pedestal by world leaders looking to us for hope and by people who need us, unbeknownst that we could be their source of hope. So for them, for the world, and for ourselves, are you ready to take the next step? Thank you. Now let's listen to our second valedictorian Mohammed Amin speech. Good evening, respected Noera, Ma'am, and Rizwan, sir, honorable teachers and parents, and my immensely talented classmates. While I'm tempted to spend the next three minutes fondly reminiscing about seven years of an unparalleled upbringing in Indus, there is something far more pressing. I've spent the past three months with a knot in my stomach, desperately trying to ascertain its cause until I chanced upon a t-shirt in my wardrobe that read, I mean, class of 2020. Today, I recognize that knot in my stomach. It's nothing but the fear of change. Change that faces us as we transition from being the senior most class in school to being young novices in a world teeming with exceptional talent. Change that our parents face as we leave behind an empty nest. And most notably, that which faces our teachers as they part tonight with indisputably the best batch of students they've ever taught. But then I wonder, for a boy who's moved across three cities and schools, why does that change seem so unnerving? It is because we're about to enter a world where uncertainty reigns supreme. It is because we've been preparing for a world that is dynamic to the nanosecond. It is because this very world can sometimes stop at nothing to pull us down. It is because the ebbs and flows of fortune for us will now be far removed from that of years past. It is because we can never predict the magnitude and nature of the change we so genuinely dread as we step out of our bubble, our comfort zone, and our home in us. This is the place where best friends can be chanced upon in the dining hall. This is the place where teachers will go out of their way to teach the student and not just the subject. This is the place where leadership camps can teach you more about resilience and bonding than about creating makeshift rafts out of bamboo sticks and water cans. This is the place where the staff room doors can be swung open at the most inconvenient of times to answer the most unintelligible questions. This is the place that inspires us to remain tied to our values when change comes knocking. This is the Indus we call home. Today, as we graduate, most of us feel happy to be leaving school and embarking on a brand new journey. Sad to be leaving familiar settings behind and concerned about being able to measure up to the challenges of the future. But above all, we are worried as to whether we will take the right next step. This is all too normal. By virtue of us graduating from a school of such high standards as in us, the answer to whether we will ever measure up to challenges is almost certainly a yes. As to whether we will take the right next step, the answer is less comforting. We will never know. This is because you will often find yourself in Zhuk Swang, much like in the game of chess, 
which is a situation wherein you will be forced to make a move despite knowing that you will lose anyway. So when you do find yourself in Zhuk Swang, all you have to do is make a move and move on. So, times will change and the world will change you. But most importantly, class of 2020, I know you will change the world. Thank you, all of you. We warmly wish you grand success in the years to come. May your industry, integrity and value serve you well. Memory is a way of holding on to the things you love, the things you are, the things you never want to lose. We now present you with the cheerful memories of IBDP years you relished in Indus. We thank Sritya for putting in efforts to make all the memories come alive. Antoine de Saint Exupéry, author of the cult text, The Little Prince, said, I quote, Your task is not to foresee the future, but to enable it. Unquote. In this parents, as equal stakeholders, have contributed immensely in giving our eagles unflattered wings and a sky. Mr. Prashant is a distinguished engineer 
and Partner Director with Microsoft India working on the Office and M365 line of products. Mr. Prashant has extensive experience of working in venture capital, management consulting and software industries. Mr. Prashant received an MBA from IIM Calcutta and holds a bachelor's degree in computer science from IIT Kanpur. We welcome our distinguished parent, Mr. Prashant Gupta. Let's listen to the encouraging words from him. Good evening, students, teachers, inter staff and parents. This is a momentous occasion for the class of 2020 as you step out in this world and fly on your own. Uh, many things are different today from when I or any of your parents were at the same stage uh, in the social media, hyper-connected world, abundance of things uh, around you, etc, uh, etc. Et but still few things don't change. Uh, I remember there are dreams and apprehensions at this time, there's excitement and then anxiety at the same time. There's determination, but there's also a fear of how and what we'll do in the future. Uh, the contrast and complexity of these feelings is often overwhelming. Uh, but remember, you are not alone, or you're not even the first ones here uh, having such feelings. Wherever you go, whichever college you join, or whichever place you go to, there would be others which would be in the same state. They would be feeling exactly the same as you are feeling right now. Understand that, that this creates a relatedness, a connection, uh, and use that to forge new relationships, new friendships. Uh, that's the one advice I'll give you because it's not about the number of Insta connections that you have, but it's about few deep relationships where you care for each other. Relationships is what makes us happy. Um, rest will take care of itself. Yeah. You're all highly capable people. You're already there and you, I'm sure you'll, all of you will have a huge impact in this world and have lots of success. But focus on the relationships, focus on the friendships. Um, I have no doubt that you will all be successful uh, in everything that you take, in, uh, take up. So congratulations again and I wish you all the success as you meet this world on your own terms. Uh, let me close by expressing my heartfelt thanks to Indus and all the people at Indus that makes it such a special place for all, all of you kids. Uh, on behalf of all the parents, I want to express my sincere gratitude for all the love and care Indus provides to all the children and has made the school experience for not just the kids but all of us parents as a smooth and memorable uh, experience. Um, thank you uh, and uh, hoping to meet you all soon, uh, special uh, situations right now, but hopefully things go, uh, these things go away, things become normal again. Uh, but take care and stay safe. Uh, see you. Thank you, sir, for your inspiring words. Ms. Vasanta and Mr. Shekhar both work for Amazon in Hyderabad. Mr. Shekhar is director at Amazon and leads the technology and operations for International Seller Services Group. And Ms. Vasanta is a senior engineer manager within the Customer Trust and Partner Support Group. Both of them did their undergrad engineering at NIT Warangal, was called REC Warangal then, and then did their masters in the United States. After living in the US for 16 years, they returned back to India in 2010. Ms. Vasanta spent initial few years in India as an entrepreneur and started an online medical second opinions platform and then also volunteered for an upcoming political party before getting back to corporate world. So here we have inspiring thoughts from Mr. Shekhar and Ms. Vasanta. Good evening, General Ray, Principal Mrs. Nuvera. Vice Principal Mr. Rizwan, all the wonderful teachers and staff of Indus and our dear class of 2020. Excuse me if I get a little emotional as I see my first born ready to fly out of our nest. We are truly grateful for the wonderful partners we found at Indus in this journey as we raised our son. It is a very bittersweet moment for me as I see these boys and girls ready to get into the world as young adults. Our journey at Indus started about a decade ago. 
And I remember seeing so many of these children as young seven, eight year olds, full of curiosity to learn and understand the world around them. Children, as you all are ready to take on the world, I want to leave you with something that life has taught me. While colleges, schools, and all the people you meet in a professional setting focus on your competence in your chosen field or fields, there are three more C's that are just as or perhaps more important to help you build and lead truly fulfilling lives. And those are commitment, courage, and compassion. Commitment is all about taking your commitment seriously, be it a college assignment, a social cause, or a relationship. Give it your 100% and be and do the best that you can every single day. Courage, courage is to always try and do the right thing, even if it seems hard or not so much fun. Compassion, be kind to yourself and those around you. Forgive yourself and those around you for the past mistakes and instead use them to learn and move forward thoughtfully. We are not here to prove anything to anyone, nor life is a race. Enjoy the journey. My dear children, wishing you the richest of experiences as you go on to living truly fulfilling lives filled with love, learning and gratitude. Thank you. My two cents. Over the last 10 years, we have found more than a second home for our kids in Indus. Thanks to all the teachers, coordinators and leaders for molding their kids. Especially over the last three months, you went way above and beyond. We wish all the kids all the best. Go chase your dreams. Dream big, have fun, live life while charting your own course. Thank you. We will now have the subject awards presentation. The subject topper awards for Hindi BSL, Mathematics SL, Chemistry HL, Economics HL, Biology HL goes to Anika Gupta. The subject topper awards for English A Lang and Lit SL, French BSL, Computer Science SL, Mathematics HL goes to Rida Samreen. The subject topper awards for Physics HL, Spanish BSL, Chemistry SL, Mathematics HL goes to Avinash Bodhu. The subject topper awards for English A Lang and Lit SL, Physics SL, Hindi B SL goes to Mohammad Amin. The subject topper awards for ESS SL, Psychology HL goes to Madhuri Lidu. The subject topper award for Physics SL, Business Management HL goes to Ishan Reddy. The subject topper award for Psychology SL, French B SL goes to Richa Chaluwadi. The subject topper award for English BHL, Economics SL goes to Sangjin Choi. The subject topper awards for English BHL, History SL goes to Super Touch. The subject topper awards for English A Lang and Lit HL goes to Amir Redinam. The subject topper award for ESS SL goes to Aditya Madhav Kalakuntla. The subject topper award for Biology SL goes to Minsu Ku. The subject topper award for History SL goes to Saurish Kalaga. The subject topper award for Business Management HL goes to Apti Maduja. The subject topper award for Spanish Abinicio SL goes to Ashlesha Galla. The subject topper award for French Abinicio SL goes to Nimisha Gampa. The subject topper award for French Abinicio SL goes to Prithvish Reddy. The subject topper award for Computer Science HL goes to Prachi Agrawal. The subject topper award for Mathematics SL goes to Kavya Sri Karnati. The subject topper award for Mathematical Studies SL goes to Mushtaba Hussain Sabir. The subject award for Visual Art SL goes to Soumya Gupta. Congratulations to all the subject toppers. May you keep up with your academic spirits wherever you study from now. Now let's listen to our very own Miss Deepthi from Placements. Hi everyone! Oh my god! My 8th graduating batch attenders! You all made it! Getting graduates! Yippee! 
I've seen some of you for the last eight, nine years. We made it together as friend, as a family, focused on making Indus. You took pride in and achieve your personal best. During these past two years, we have each shared very personal and life-changing experiences. Some of the toughest in my life too. You have made this year a special one for us by receiving good amount of scholarship, financial aid, and getting into the best universities in the world. Seniors like me often talk about the past, but I know seniors like you are more concerned with the future. Not everyone will choose the same pathway to success. You should choose the path that will best enable you to develop your God-given talents. As a CEO, keep saying you have to find your signature strength to unlock your potential. As you consider your career choice, think of your interests and passions, not just the income. Being in a highly paid occupation is clearly worth a lot, but the opportunity to get up every morning and make living doing something you truly love—well, that is priceless. So, choose wisely. Use your brain, but also follow your heart. Pandemic has shown us the new way to see the life, and I'm sure during these lockdown periods, you must have got the chance to introspect, and your path of self-discovery must have been initiated. Class of 2020, while we look to the past for guidance and dream about the future, live in the present. Wherever you are on that road to fame and fortune, always remember to be thankful for what you have. Treat every day as a gift, a blessing. The Roman statement Cicero once said, "Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but a parent of all the others." So, if you are truly grateful for what you have in life, you will be a better son, a daughter, or a sibling. So remember to count your blessings, and happiness will surely come your way. If I may paraphrase Shakespeare, true happiness is not about destination; it's about the journey. I would like to end here by giving one important message to all of you from Seth Godin's outline his book by Stop Stealing Dreams, and I quote: "You are entering a new chapter in your life." in an exciting world full of challenges opportunities amplified by the web and the connection revolution human beings are no longer rewarded most for being compliant cocks instead our chaotic world is open to the work of passionate individuals intent on carving their own paths that is the new job of school not to hand a map to those who are willing to follow it but to inculcate leadership and restlessness into a new generation to the graduating students this is your day and we congratulate you on your achievement well done you're fortunate that you're graduating from an institution that has made you lifelong learners i hope that my talk has been useful and i take this opportunity of wishing all the graduates all the very best in their future endeavors thank you very much and have a great evening to all of you bye bye Thank you Ms Deepthi The woods would be very silent if no birds sang there except those that sang best Ladies and gentlemen it's time to celebrate every fledgling that leaves our nest for the skies today We present before you the proud students with their university admissions
Congratulations everyone for your admissions. Now we have special messages from grade 11 students. Sanya Gupta, Smriti Marar, Twisha Shukla. Dear class of 2020, this one is for you. This one is for you to know that we love you and congratulations on finally finishing school. We're proud of you. We're proud of each and every one of you for putting in tremendous hard work and effort throughout these years to finally get where you are. To finally finish school, finish grade 12, graduate and go to college. I know this journey hasn't been easy. I know things haven't been normal. And I know you haven't received a proper chance to say goodbye. But this isn't a goodbye. This is just a see you soon. Thank you for being the most amazing, approachable and lovely seniors I've ever had. Thank you for making my grade 11 super easy. And I am going to miss you. I'm going to miss seeing you around in school, having your presence around the hallways and in the lunch hall. I'm going to miss you. I really hope you guys have an amazing life ahead. All the very best for everything that life has in store for you. And I know each and every one of you are going to go a long way. Thank you for being there. And we love you. You're the best. Dear class of 2020, Thank you for being the most fun and approachable seniors that I could have possibly asked for. And for giving us hope that maybe we can get out of IB alive like you guys. I think this year has been difficult for all of us, but the impact that you have left on Indus is very evident. And I really hope that we can carry your legacy forward. So we'll miss you a lot. Dear class of 2020, thank you for being a constant source of advice, laughter, and fun. And thank you for setting the bar way too high. We can only hope to meet the same expectations as you and leave a mark on Indus as memorable as yours. I'm going to miss all your friendly faces in the hallways, buses, and dining hall. I wish you all the very best for your future and I can't wait to hear of all the incredible things my seniors are going to do. Light gives off itself freely and does not seek anything in return. Light does not judge and ask not whether you are friend or foe. Light is wisdom, courage, faith and hope. Leonardo Cohen Legendary lyricist wrote, There is a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. Class of 2020, be the light and blaze a trail for mankind. It's time to pledge. May I request Miss Nuera for oath taking ceremony? Please play the recording. Let us now pledge, as I stand on the brink of a new journey, bidding farewell to the school I cherish, I promise to abide by its ideals of love, empathy, discipline and respect. I promise to connect with humanity and show concern for the environment as in life I move ahead.
now it's time for one another special moment where you have surprises from your beloved teachers coaches house parents admin and in the staff let's listen to them what they have to say about you all hello class of 2020 namaste respected parents and my dear students nice to see all of you after a long time dear students I've grown in this along with you since your grade 9. In fact, you too have been my teacher. Thank you very much for raising the bar and keeping the standards of your expectations remarkably high. In fact, that has been a great source of inspiration to me. Special sincere thanks to all the parents for the constant faith and the support. Now remember this prayer where the mind is without fear and the head is held high. We have understood the meaning of each word of this prayer and its relevance today. Probably most of us feel that we have learned all of life's lessons only since March 2020. I was extremely upset when the DP examinations were cancelled. Hungry lions, we know how well you would have done in those examinations. But then I thought that nature's plan is different for you. Batch of 2020, you are not destined just to find answers to questions on sheets of paper. There are so many questions facing humanity today which are yet to be answered. And I think you are destined to find solutions to them. Now you can't do that without a vision. Here is a real lifetime opportunity for you to put into practice the vision of Indus, love, empathy, discipline and respect, thinking globally and acting locally. The world is yours now. This is your time. Global leaders and citizens of tomorrow, you are graduates now. Take this vision forward. For us, you are always children, but for the world, you are its only hope. Uncertainties in life are the only certainties. Please help the world be prepared for any eventuality with great confidence and greater certainty. As you throw your hats off to celebrate your graduation, remember that you take along with you this responsibility of taking the world and its needs along with you. Promise me, batch of 2020, that in 10 years from now, that is in 2030, that you'd all meet once again to celebrate your victory of bringing your vision and our vision to reality. In Omnia Paratus, Let's be prepared in all things and ready for anything. Good luck. God bless you. Dear class of 2020, I could make you laugh and say exaggeration is a literary device. These days people are making too much of everything. After all, a COVID vaccine is in the offing. Additionally, as your English teacher, somewhat used to having a way, I will in a somber fashion say, and for better or worse, it will have to be in verse. Today, I will build for you a ladder from here to the moon. Sprinkle it with a little gold dust you left in my heart. Let me put the steps together for a start. The first step of 2020 could not have arrived too soon. As you climb, I want to remind you of particular silences of the ever-looming uncertainty, but most of all, the strength that this darkness gave you that will last an eternity. I want you to climb confident with the belief that you will imagine otherwise and remake this world with your tapestry. You, my brave hearts, have authority over your destiny. As you move up, May the brilliance of your grace, of your unflinching solidarity, build you for the lovely unexpected, so that, like empty boats, 
waiting for the sea. You embrace life's every little offering and find above all the value of hours in everything. When you reach the stars and are face to face with the clear sky, remember you came this far ennobled and uplifted with your gaze resizing a new shape, a vision carved from the resilience of your heart, from the compassion, the fortitude and the empathy that will always define you as the magnificent class of 2020. Hello everyone, I'm super excited today to see you all graduating and moving on further for an exciting life. You will be a college going students now, experiencing all new setup where there will be no one to tell you to come in a uniform, get up early, catch the bus, walk in line, be in discipline and so many other things. You will be much freer, living your own life on your terms or I should rather say on no terms. You will wake up every morning with bigger dreams, fantasizing about your future, thinking of a beautiful life waiting for you. And that would be for sure. But life is not all about it. Money, fame, success, happiness. This is how we conclude our lives. But we never think what cost these all come with. Today I'm not going to wish you grand success or bright future. Because those will eventually come to you. I'm here today to say you something very, very important. I'm here to say you it's okay if you fail. It's okay if you don't become famous. It's okay if you don't get big jobs. It's okay if you don't own big companies. It's absolutely okay as far as you are happy. And moving further for bigger purpose in life. Because I know success is an ephemeral reward, not an achievement. Your true achievements are your learnings, your experiences. And if, even if you fail, I would like to be the first person to say, hey, let's celebrate failure. Sorry, I'm wrong. I should rather say, hey, let's celebrate the efforts that you have put in. Because we both know we never fail until we stop trying. I would be happy to hear from you saying it loud and clear with confidence that sir, I'm still trying. Rather saying I failed. Let's today replace the word failure with trying. So with this small message as a lifelong gift to you, I wish you to be happy in all odds and evens in life. Thank you. Hello class of 2020. So finally it's graduation day. Graduation is only a concept. In real life, every day you graduate. Graduation is a process that goes on until the last day of your life. If you can grasp that, you will make a difference. Each one of you should take pride in how far you have come and have full faith in how far you can go. But don't forget to enjoy the journey because it is impossible to live without failing at something or the other unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all. In such case, you fail by default. So remember students, dream big and dare to fail. Graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. Love you all. Hello class of 2020 and congratulations on making it to your graduation. Haven't I always said this, that you are my most loved, my most cherished and my most memorable batch of students. All of you with your own quips and quirks 
embellished the classrooms and hallways at school. As teachers, we also have our back to school moments. You know, the start of a new academic year means seeing our students again, some old, some new. And now that you all are graduating and I, I won't be seeing you anymore in school, so what am I going to miss? Well, there's so much. I'm going to miss Soumya, Udayan and Jasraj visiting my room every day for candies, making sure not to settle for one. I'm going to miss Sahil asking me why so serious whenever he would see me. I'm going to miss those warm hugs by Minkyo, Soumya, Prachi and Anika. I'm going to miss Touch saying hi ma'am with that sweet smile every time he would pass by me. I'm going to miss Madhuri meeting me and telling me about her achievements because she knew that would make me happy. I'm going to miss consoling the crying Minkyo after every math exam. I'm going to miss seeing Namir every sports day. And of course, our favorite time of the day, checking the turnout in the morning assembly, <laughs> calling out Amir, Rudra and Akhil for their hair, only for them to say, ma'am, I got a haircut just two days back. I'm going to miss Afan and Naveel alternate days because wasn't that their school attendance pattern? And how can I not mention our three musketeers, Lohit, Krishna and Yash? <laughs> the minute they would see me in the corridor of the DP floor, they would take a 180 degrees turn and go three different ways and blend in with everyone so I couldn't find them. There is so much more about each one of you that we will remember for years to come. Today, I have two very simple pieces of advice for you. The first is to believe in yourself. In a world that's currently so focused on standardization and mass production, be your own specialized version of yourself. Find your unique selling point and hold on to it for dear life. Two, exercise. Play a sport, lift weights, do yoga and take care of your body. You're going to need it. There is an inverse correlation between depression, sadness and exercise. So run my beautiful graduates. And finally, a question. How do you deal with the unknown? Well, just by recognizing that you have no other choice. So my beautiful students, the world is far from what you imagined it would be. But that doesn't have to be a bad thing. Our class of 2020 will be remembered for being the epitome of compassion, resilience and excellence by your juniors, by our school and the world. I am going to end my speech the way you would like it. Hashtag Dear Class of 2020. It has been a hashtag splendid journey with you all. Despite all the odds, you still manage to graduate. From the bottom of my heart, I wish you all a happy graduation and happiness always. God bless. Thank you. Good evening, dear class of 2020. After finishing your DP final examinations, you would pat yourself at the back by telling yourself that this is it. You have crossed the hurdles of academic at school level. You will see yourself going up onto that stage by putting your graduation robe, hat, receiving that degree and entering into the university life with your heads held high. While this dream has been a reality for many batches until now, it has not been the same for the current graduating class of 2020. Year 2020 had hit hard with the COVID. It has left us shell-shocked. But it has triggered our senses about the realities of the life. Your batch is so special as it had an opportunity to understand life deeper at the right time. COVID-19 has taught us to live every moment of life and not to run after things blindfold. Students, remember, in history, adversity always accelerated innovation and gave birth to the leaders in the past. People who can deal with the adversity are the only one who naturally inspires confidence, loyalty and hard work while others stumble again and again. True leadership is an ability to find meaning in the negative events and to learn even in the most trying circumstances. Putting in another way, extraordinary leaders are anti-fragile. Roosevelt said, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. 
there is no unsolvable problem if you face it wisely and courageously it can never be solved merely by talking about it we must act and act quickly on it and most of the times we act on it only when we find purpose in doing it victor franklin the author of man's search for meaning he quoted suffering ceases to be suffering when we give meaning to it to successfully navigate crisis you need to quickly get comfortable with widespread ambiguity and chaos recognizing that they do not have a crisis playbook you also should understand mistakes will happen along the way and we will have to pivot quickly as this happens learning as we go when the crisis passes as crises always do it will be those and those with an entrepreneurial mindset who will help to rebuild the society in a better light the human spirit is irrepressible every crisis presents an opportunity for innovation we will get through this as we did always and i wish to see many leaders taking birth from the batch of 2020 after this crisis time i wish you all the best my dear students thank you very much cherished batch of 2020 as a teacher i must ideally be giving you my regards and blessings but before all of that i really want to thank all of you as you learned psychology or tok or just any other topic you helped me learn newer things about teaching and learning eventually making me a better teacher i have seen how extraordinary each of you are be it in academics leadership debates or social work i also know without doubt that you will all succeed in the path that you choose to follow pedal towards your goal without ceasing and take every obstacle that comes your way in its stride be humble patient and have an ever growing and learning mind always and you will see that nothing can and nothing will ever stop you hi everyone i take this opportunity to thank this batch and uh, this was my first tok batch at ish i had a very good opportunity to interact with you all in the context of tok and as a subject i i remember i am taking few classes for you guys and i loved sharing my knowledge and understanding with you all in fact i interacted with everyone to understand your tok claim counter claim examples i loved those moments and uh, the people who have taken the guidance from me for tok definitely i am expecting a good result for them i wish you all the best dear students we know that you have been waiting for this day for a long time Finally, it's your graduation. It's been two wonderful years with you. Our math class is one of the best batch I have taught in this. You are intelligent, honest, supportive, and competent. One of the best quality which I like about you is your commitment to work. Keep up the same spirit and do well. Remember three things in life: live in gratitude, enjoy the little things in life. Stay focused and chase your dreams. Happy graduation day, dear students. I hope all of you are doing well during this time. It was lovely time with you in the last two years. We had a lot of fun, joy, birthday celebrations, and love in our classes. Especially, I really enjoyed the time when we had our years in the physics lab. Now you are going to be. a different world where you are working independently learning on your own no matter how hard the life gets stay calm have patience and give your best you can do anything and everything and never give up in your life i wish you all the best you've been one of the most amazing batch that i've come across Remember wherever you may go whatever may be the weather always bring your own sunshine all the best to all of you uh, with your tiny new found wings you'll all now soar into the world of higher studies and universities my little advice to you as you're moving on to the larger world uh, remember to keep these six best friends with you around you always number 1 get enough sunlight number 2 get enough rest 3 exercise every day have a routine and exercise every day number 4 eat healthy food 
Number five, this is important. Remember, you are the hero. You are the best. And last but not the least, cherish. Cherish and care for your family, for your friends, the nature around you, and all life forms. All the best. Hello, everyone. It has been a fabulous year for me. Though I joined late in 2019, but I really enjoyed teaching business management to you all. There were many ups and downs, but yes, we all worked hard, put our best efforts so that the best result could be produced. Dear students, remember, life will teach you more than high school students. Be ready to learn, show learner attitude. Be humble and the victory will always be yours. My best wishes are for you all. God bless you. Have a nice time. Good luck to you all. Hello children. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but I miss you guys. And this is in spite of all the craziness that we had in our class. Good times. Uh, as far as the advice goes, uh, I'm pretty sure what you guys have already decided on your future plans. I can only wish you all the best for your future endeavors. And at any point, if you think us teachers could be of some help to you guys, uh, we want you to reach out to us. Uh, we are always here to help you out. Stay out of trouble and stay safe. Godspeed and much love from all of our teachers. Mm. Class of 2020, hope everyone is doing good. We are very happy for you on this occasion of graduation. I wish you all the best for your future endeavors and whatever you do in your future, just try to give your best. Try to reach your potential. You are the only one person who knows completely about yourself. You know your difficulties, you know your weaknesses, you know your strengths. Try to work on your weaknesses. First, keep your dreams alive. When time comes, make them live. Don't look back. All the best. My dear class of 2020, I wish you all the very best in your future. May all your dreams come true. Be kind, be mindful, be humble, be attentive and work very hard. Have a wonderful life ahead. God bless you all. Hello guys, uh, I hope you're doing well. Um, I want to send you a message. I, want to, I wanted to thank you for being a part of the Spanish grade 12 group. I hope you, you have enjoyed the classes. And uh, I hope uh, after all this uh, craziness is over, uh, you get what you wanted. You go to the universities that you wanted and you will enjoy life as much as you can. Please, if you need anything, uh, feel free to contact me. I'll be really, really, really happy to help. Uh, okay, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, students. Hope all of you are doing well. The last one year was something like a roller coaster ride. It had its own ups and downs. I still remember those days when we used to have a deep conversations about things concerning us. You had your own moments of stress, anxiety, and at the same time we had our days, our moments of happiness and joy. We were in it together. I humbly request all of you, don't let this pandemic pull you down or push you back. Your life has just begun. Use it for your growth. Let me take this opportunity of wishing each and every one of you the very best for your graduation day and for your future. Do your best. Life is beautiful. Each and every one of you is beautiful. Always remember that we here at Indus will always be there for you. We are just a phone call away. Please take care of yourself. Be good. God bless you all. Bye. Hi everyone. Happy graduation day. I wish you all to be good in your life. A good person treats other people with respect, care and compassion. Be respectable to everybody. It promotes empathy, understanding and support. A good person is honest and trustworthy. Good people behave courageously 
and view the world as a fair and beautiful place to live in good people are trustworthy honest people they have compassion they understand they forgive they respect they have courage and they have good will always my students should be good in all aspects of life i wish all my students to be good in your in their life thank you one and all dear students dream big set goals take risk stay strong this academic year 2019-20 has been a wonderful year in terms of achieving great heights in inter school competitions as you all know we took part in different events in different competitions i feel proud to say that we we stood as winners in few events like school football league school basketball league in under 18 category and we achieved 187 medals in swimming competition even though it is the first time that we took part in sfa we stood third by achieving 57 medals i appreciate all the participants who took part in inter school competitions and in inter house competitions i hope you all had great time by learning the required skills during your pe sessions in your sports we have broken many of our own school records during the sports day especially in track events we have broken many of our records i appreciate all the participants who took part in sports day in horse riding in athletics etc i thank all the coaches who have put their efforts to make make it possible and i thank mr krishnan mr rizwan ms nuvara for the support then i take this opportunity to wish each one of you on this glorious occasion i'd like to leave with you a few thoughts that came to my mind when i thought of this wonderful day always remember these three truths in life number 1 you are precious and you have been remarkably and wonderfully created you are so unique because the natural talents that you possess and the uniqueness of your personality is no match with anyone else in this whole world in other words no one can accomplish what you alone can accomplish in this world secondly never compare yourself with others because god very well knows what you need in this world in order to fulfill his purpose through you when you compare yourself with others you only get discouraged thirdly always be thankful there's a beautiful verse in the bible which says and i quote and what do you have that you did not receive meaning everything that you have today your health your wealth your parents your teachers your education your food your water and the very breath that you breathe has been granted to you and to me by our creator therefore let's be mindful of this fact at all times and be thankful at all times and finally the community service that you did at indus should never stop here the world is in desperate need of good people like you therefore heal the world and make it a better place i wish each one of you all the very best once again thank you very much and do keep in touch hi everyone i hope you all are doing well uh, it's amazing to see you all uh, graduating this year and this year is a little different from the previous years and we all are trying to connect virtually uh, it was amazing experience for me as i was associated with most of you for around 2 years now and especially the seven jewels of my class uh, minsu vritti sanskriti uh, nabiha ishita Shri Harshini and Alicia, it was an amazing experience to be your teacher, your biology teacher, as you all always wanted me to expand my horizon of understanding and knowledge. And the kind of discussions which we used to have, it was amazing. Uh, I have learned a lot. I can only wish you all the very best, and I hope you all become good humans and build up your character, shape up your character as you would be going to different colleges and universities. because intelligence plus character is the true sense of education all the very best namaskar aasha karta hu ki aap sabhi apne ghar parivar mein sabhi ke sath kushal mangal honge 
2020 पूरे विश्व में शायद ही कोई ऐसा होगा जिसे ये साल याद न रहे और विशेष रूप से ये साल आपके लिए काफी यादगार है क्योंकि इस साल आपने छोटी मोटी सभी प्रकार की विशेष प्रकार की भी मुश्किलों का सामना किया है किसी ने क्या खूब कहा है कि मुश्किलें हर वक्त बेहतरीन लोगों के हिस्से में ही आती है क्योंकि वो लोग ही उसे आसान कर सकते हैं रख हौसला वो मंजर भी आएगा प्यासे के पास चलकर खुद समंदर भी आएगा थक कर न बैठ ए मंजिल के मुसाफिर मंजिल भी मिलेगी और जीने का मजा भी आएगा तो आप कभी भी अपने जीवन में किसी भी प्रकार से हार न माने लगातार मेहनत करते रहे कोशिश करते हैं करते रहे मुझे आशा है कि आप और भी अच्छा अपने जीवन में करेंगे और अपने जीवन को एक नई ऊंचाई पर पहुंचाएंगे इसी आशा के साथ अस्तु I was raised to believe that there is enough sun for everybody. When you leave here, don't forget why you came. I wish I could say that life was straightforward and easy to climb, but it is not. You have to be prepared for the worst. Hold your courage and say, "I must keep going." Don't waste your time following someone else's dreams. Live your own life because life is short. Follow your dreams because they know their way. If you ever have any questions please raise your hand and reach out to me I will try to answer your question and help you out as much as possible Graduating class of 2020 I remember the days when I accompanied you to leadership camp You all have participated very well in all the activities there and I have seen your qualities I have no doubt but full confidence that you all will have a very bright future You are amazing able ambitious and a new world of opportunities is open for you so grab the opportunities and live up to your dreams never stop learning never stop trying i believe in you all happy graduation dear student of 2020 i wish you all the best and good success for the future do well in your college enjoy your life be safe take care of yourself take care of your family take care of everything Dear student, congratulations. Hope you and your family safe and sound. I already started missing our fun-filled, beautiful memories. It's the big day for you, and it is not the end, but the beginning of the journey. Your real life learning starts here. Never follow anyone else's path unless you are lost in woods. Someone else's success does not define your own. In life. either you get success or you learn lesson many of us choose our path out of fear disguised as practicality have the courage to follow your heart and intuition they somehow already know what you truly want to become you have got a wonderful life believe it embrace it and remember to listen learn and give back to the world i strongly believe all of you will become good human being and make us proud all the best i feel blessed and fortunate to be part of your graduate ceremony so now before you step into this world i want to give you a piece of advice i'm a counselor and i can help it so here you go the four values of indus love empathy discipline and respect i want you to carry these values everywhere you go and incorporate these values within your relationships as you love young souls these days looking for real relationships authentic people real people and when they don't find any they say oh everyone is a fake but what you don't realize is, is that people need love they need respect relationships take investing you need to invest in them you need to nurture them and build people up and these values when you carry them forward with you will see a whole lot of difference in your relationships so don't ever forget these values wherever you go use them lavishly on this account i want to wish you all the best i wish you all a bright and prosperous future thank you and see you again i wish you all the very best for your future certainly you are the special batch to indus international school good luck you all are so talented that you made all the indus day programs and insignia programs in the last 5 years a grand success i can't imagine how those programs would have been good without your contribution you will be missed 
for many years to come by the music department. Best of luck and hope to see you soon. Do visit us sometimes. My dear student, this is Mahesdan Rao, wishing you all the very best for your future and upcoming academic life. I wish you all the success to achieve, excel and do your best. Hello students, I hope you all are safe. I have had an amazing and wonderful two years with all of you. Uh, you have uh, very new challenges that you have to face in the coming years, which is different from different from the previous batches. Uh, I'm sure you all are ready to face all those challenges. All the best for your future and uh, whatever you want to take up in your near future. I wish you all the best. Happy graduation. Take care. Love you all. All the best. Uh, batch of 2020. Have fun, do well and stay safe. Congratulations class of 2020. Aim for the stars. Challenge yourselves. All the very best for your future endeavors. God bless you always. Stay strong. Hercules House students, I am proud that I have got chance to work with you as a housemaster. You are all very brave and active. Always keep this spirit up. In your life, you will face many bad and hard times. Never lose hope in your bad times. After the heavy rain, we can see the sunshine. Always be positive. Willing is not enough, we must do. You are already a brilliant lot and unique in your own way. Students, I wish you all every success in your future endeavors. It's time to say goodbye. But I think goodbyes are sad. I would much rather say hello, hello to a new adventure. This is a quote by Henry Horwell. I wish you a very happy farewell. May God bless you and help you achieve your dreams. Always strive to be the best in whatever you do. Be humble and let your actions speak for you. May you be blessed with success and glory. Adio. Hi 1920 Match, thank you for supporting in all sports events. God bless you all. Have a great bright, bright future. God bless you. Enjoy your days. Good morning to all to the batch of 2020. It's unfortunate that we could not meet up face to face due to the coronavirus pandemic. However, I wish you the best for your future education and for your career. Live well and be happy forever. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your patience and going through this pandemic with courage and integrity. Thank you very much. All the best. Dear students, I'm so happy to share in the excitement of your graduation. Keep on growing, keep adding to the goodness and beauty in the world. Keep developing that unique dreams and talents that make you who you are. Congratulations on your graduation and best wishes for your new adventure. With a lot of love, your sports mental Dinesh. Grade 12, congratulations on graduating. It's been a bumpy ride, but you finally arrived. French Abinishio, I just want to let you all know that I really enjoyed your classes. I can't count the number of times that I laughed in your class and the amount of fun that we had. And I hope you have learned something on the way as well. I like to leave you with a little anecdote I wrote myself. It's in French, but don't worry, I'll translate it. Il ne sert à rien si tu rêves sans vivre, si tu penses sans faire, et si tu réagis sans réfléchir. Translation. It means nothing if you dream without living, if you think without doing, and if you react without reflecting. I hope this resonates with you in these trying times and all the very best for your future. Hello children, how are you? Hope all of you are fine. Actually, I just wanted to wish you best of luck for your future ahead and may you achieve all your goals in life and may God bless you. Life is a journey and you all hold the maps. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. On this auspicious day, I congratulate all my grade 12 boarders to become graduate. Make sure that you treat your education as a springboard, not a finish line. Thank you. Congratulations and God bless you all. Good afternoon, my dear student. It was wonderful spending time on 
the field with you all wish you all the best for your bright future good luck hello dear students this is miss piyu we are so proud of each one of you it's a very important day of your life and uh, we are pretty happy that we can be a part of it as well even from a distance i won't say it's a different it's a difficult time it's a little different one uh, but then again you know how to swim in different currents so proud of each one of you blessings blessings and blessings good evening students batch of 2020 is so special because you have climbed the rocks of uncertainties with full ability this journey of yours will be remembered forever you have been a role model for your juniors you have shown them a path in the darkness gave them hope to meet their uncertainties i have watched you all learn and grow from grade 9 to 12 and change from day to day finally you have reached your graduation day this graduation is not an end it's a new beginning grab the opportunity be faithful be humble finally don't forget your roots whatever heights you reach and how successful you are in your life don't forget the place where you started your journey i will miss this wonderful batch always cherish the memories of our bm class discussion the ia feedback sessions the tok class and the extended essay discussions how can i forget the tok retreat you all were the rock stars of the event made the event more meaningful with all the wonderful knowledge exchange finally made the event a memorable and a successful one thank you class of 2020 for being wonderful respectful and memorable batch in all our hearts thank you all the best thank you and now i invite the dp coordinator mr radhakrishnan ladies and gentlemen let these young adults embark on the first lap of journey called life may the road rise to meet you may the wind be always at your back may the sun shine warm upon your face and until we meet again may god hold you in the palm of his hand students i will now take you through the transition from graduates to graduates and now the much awaited moment of acceleration graduates throw high your caps as you enter a new time of your lives and how is
Thank you, Mr. Krishnan. It's so heart touching to hear from each one of them. They love you so much. We love you so much. So, for the last time, we wish you all congratulations, class of 2020. Let's cheer all aloud. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, students. May the light always be with you. Congratulations, Great 12. I wish you all the very best for your future endeavors. Do take your learning from your community services ahead. Promised congratulations on your graduation, class of 2020. Class of 2020. Congratulations. I wish you all the best for your future life. Congratulations, class of 2020. So proud of you. Woohoo! Congratulations, batch of 2020. I wish you all the best. Take care. Congratulations. Wish you all the best. Hello class of 2020. Congratulations for successful completion of your DP program. Hey, congratulations to you all. All the very best to all of you. May God bless you. My best wishes and blessings to each one of you. Be good, be happy and work hard. Class of 2020, congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, grade 12 students. Very congratulations, class of 2020. Wish you all the very best students. May God bless you with bright future ahead. May you all do well in your life. And yes, all the best. Class of 2020, my warmest congratulations on your graduation. Hola everyone. Y mucha suerte. A lot of luck. To all of you and I selfishly also hope that you guys get a lot of chances to use Spanish in the future. Hi everyone, congratulations on your graduation day and best wishes for your next adventure. Thank you. Hi Sean. Congratulations, congratulations class of 2020. All the best. All the best for your bright future. Students, you will be entering into a new world. I wish you all the best for your wonderful careers. Success Mantra, never give up. Congratulations on your graduation and all the best for your next adventure. All the best. Congratulations on your graduation and best wishes for your next adventure. Congratulations batch of 2020. Congratulations class of 2020. Congratulations class of 2020. 
Congratulations class of 2020. I hope you soar like eagles even after you leave Indus. All the best to everyone. Congratulations class of 2020. Congratulations Rida. So proud of you. Congratulations to all of you. Congratulations Rida. Have a great life ahead and all the best to the class of 2020. Congratulations Rida. Congratulations the class of 2020. Hooray! Congratulations Rida. Wish you all the best. Wish you all the best. Congratulations Rida. We are proud of you. May all your dreams and desires be fulfilled. Congratulations to the class of 2020. It's a new beginning for all of you. Cheers. Good luck. Congratulations class of 2020. You guys rock. And I'm sure all the juniors look up to you just like I do. All, all the, the best. best. Hello Anika. Congratulations on your graduation. Keep progressing like this. We are very proud of you. God bless you with good health and happiness in your life. Congratulations! 2020! Hi Anika! Hi Anika! We love you! We are proud of you! Congrats to the class of 2020! All the best guys! Congratulations Jasmine and the class of 2020! Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, everyone. All the best, class, class of 2020. 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congrats, class of 2020. Yay! Congratulations, Lisa. Congratulations, class of 2020. Woohoo! Congratulations class of 2020 All the best Congratulations class of 2020 Wish you all the very best Woohoo! Congratulations class of 2020 Good luck Congratulations class of 2020 Good luck Wish you all the best class of 2020. Enjoy. Hi all the students of class of 2020. Have a great life ahead. Congratulations to all. God bless you. Congratulations class of 2020. Congratulations class of 2020. Congratulations class of 2020. Hello all of you. Good morning. I wish you the best in life. Cheers. Good luck. Dear students, you are moving on to a new and exciting chapter in your life. I wish you all the best for the future. Congratulations on your graduation. Congratulations class of 2020. Congratulations, all the best. Hello students, congratulations on graduation day and all the best for your future. Hello everyone. All the very best for your future. Keep flying. Hey, congratulations class of 2020. You are rock stars. Yay! It's your graduation! All the best class of 2020! Hey guys! Congratulations! All, All the best. best! Congrats class of 2020! Proud of you Avinash! Go Eagles! Congratulations class of 2020! Congrats Avinash! Congratulations Avinash! Happy graduation Avinash! Congratulations! Congratulations.